my areas of research interest really are in kind of two areas that lately tend to blend into one. Uh, the first one is how work influences family and, and how family influences work, how they influence one another. Uh, what happens to us at work affects us at home and vice versa. And then the other one is what I call bad employee behavior. So it's a study of abusive supervisors, of um, uncivil coworkers, things like that, and how um, interactions with those people at work affect us at home and also how things that happen at home may encourage us to engage in bad behavior at work. So, um, for instance, a, a lot of my research is through survey research, surveying people about their home life, about their work life, interactions at home, interactions at work. Um, <clears throat> but a lot of my research comes out of conversations with people that I know, whether that's family members or colleagues, um, former students, and a lot of them know that I study abusive supervisors, so a lot of times they'll, they'll ask me, you know, what do you think of my supervisor's behavior, or they, they want to vent. I had one uh, former uh, classmate when I was from, in, in my uh, MBA program who had an abusive supervisor. Some, she had a lot of rich stories to tell about those situations, and um, because of that, right now I'm looking into how uh, workplace um, interactions, especially with the supervisor or uncivil, co-workers may impact our health, both our mental and our physical health. So a lot of people also ask, you know, how, how do I, what do I do with, about a bad supervisor? Or, um, you know, do I go to HR? What, you know, what do I do? What can I do to make it better? But the question a lot of people don't ask is, could that abusive supervisor be me? Um, we also, we want to think that if we have a bad day at work, it's got to be somebody else's um, issue, something else someone is doing. But a lot of times it may actually be that we are the the bad supervisor, abusive supervisor. So um, there are a couple of questions people can ask themselves to try and identify. Is, is that bad supervisor my one of those people? Um, the first one is ask yourself, when was the last time somebody brought me bad news? As we go up the corporate ladder, um, we tend to hear less and less bad news. And if you haven't heard bad news from somebody in a while, that may be because they're afraid what will happen if they come to you with bad, bad news something that you don't want to hear, afraid of your reaction, maybe even afraid of their job security. Um, are you going to yell and scream and throw things? Um, the other question they can ask themselves is, what does turnover look like in my group? People don't quit jobs. The majority of people quit bosses and they quit bad bosses. So if turnover among your subordinates is high, um, and maybe even not turnover right now, the economy maybe is a little bit better, but jobs are still scarce. So ask yourself, you know, do I have a lot of employees that call in sick? Maybe they can't afford to quit or they don't have the option to quit, um, but they may have the option of calling in sick because they just can't face going to work another day. Um, the other thing to ask yourself is, <clears throat> when was the last time you said thank you and I'm sorry? Uh, bad bosses typically don't show appreciation or say a word of thanks for an employee who's had high performance or a job well done or kind of went above and beyond the call of duty. Um, bad bosses also aren't very good at apologizing. When they make a mistake, they may not even own up to it to themselves, much less to anyone else. So if you can't remember the last time you apologized and said, you know what, I messed up or I made a mistake or you were right and I was wrong, um, those might be indications that you are a bad boss.